My daughter had graduated from high school and my son from elementary school, and they went to the concert with their friends to celebrate. They both suffered burns to 90% of their body. My daughter died two days later. My son has been in intensive care ever since. If the organizers had paid more attention to safety, so many young people's lives wouldn't be ruined like this. Here in Taiwan, concerns over public safety is at an all-time high. After a year of disasters, people are starting to not see them as isolated incidents, but are instead as laws not better enforced. Metal bars over windows kill people in house fires almost every year, yet no government has ordered residents to dismantle them. And even though a law requires people to wear seatbelts, few do, and the police rarely find anyone for violations, despite injuries from traffic accidents skyrocketing in recent years. So why is it that Taiwan turns a blind eye to safety hazards? And even when there are laws, they are rarely enforced. Taiwan seems modern, but the public's awareness about safety hasn't kept up. Neither have the laws. Even when there are laws, people don't see the point of following them, and civil servants don't actively enforce them. Politicians respond only when something big happens. After each disaster, change is demanded. Following the fire at an illegally built bowling alley that killed six firefighters, Taiwan boosted equipment and training for firefighters. The government says it is responding to calls for tighter safety laws, but enforcing them is a problem. We face obstacles, including local politicians who worry they'll lose votes by enforcing the rules. But over the years, we've done a lot to educate people and reduce the number of incidents. After the water park fire, the government banned the flammable color powder from being used at events. But many believe these are just short-term fixes and that what's really needed is Taiwanese society as a whole placing much greater importance on safety. Cindy Su, BBC News, Taipei.